this is Tina from Shabby Dabby Doo Dog. Welcome back to my channel. So I'm back again with my junkie journal that we have been working on and basically I have now kind of finished it off. Um, you know, we've done quite a lot of it whoops, together and I've just finished it off, um, you know, the painting and things, um, you know, in slow time. Now I've got the front cover or the outer cover left to do. So I think what I want to do is probably, um, hmm, what do I want to do? <laughs> probably get some paint down on here first so I'm just going to very roughly paint it now again just like the rest of the journal you know I'm not going for perfection here you know we're trying to make a scrappy kind of journal so I'm not going to really worry too much if it's not kind of covering every single inch of the cardboard you know I'm not too worried we're going to be putting some paper elements and maybe some fabric and things like that over this anyway so, you know, a lot of this may well be covered up anyway. So I'm not going to kind of get too hung up on, oh gosh, you know, I've missed a bit or anything like that. We're just going to, yeah, get a kind of base coat down that then we can, you know, fill in around the base coat, if that makes sense. So like that, now I'm going to dry that off so that I can then flip it over and do the back. So let's just quickly dry that. I'm just going to have a sip of my tea whilst that's drying. Now, I'm using the household emulsion paint. Um, it's just matte, you know, matte emulsion. And I know I've said this a lot of times before. I just, um, you know, love this colour, which is called Antique Cream. And it's a crown colour. So it's crown paint, you know, regular household paint for your walls. And it's called Antique Cream. I mean, I've actually got this quite a, you know, quite a bit around my house. It's just a really true cream, which a lot of creams, weirdly enough, I mean, they can be very yellow or, you know, I don't know, very white or, you know, very grey. You know, this just to me seems like a true cream. And yeah, I just really, really love it. And I've, you know, I've always loved it, to be honest. So yeah, I first discovered it probably, oh gosh, like 15 years ago or something. Um, I think when we first moved into our house and I painted one of the rooms in it and that's it I've loved it ever since then but it's just yeah just one of those colors that it looks good every time you use it and it definitely to me it feels like a true you know true cream color which so often they just don't do they right so I have covered that now probably should actually dry that to be honest I was going to just move it but I will then end up with paint um, stuck on everything so well not even stuck on everything but just dabbed dabbed on everything so I'll just quickly dry it off okay. 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 right more or less dry more or less dry too okay so I'm just going to move that to one side now so I've got the album which we have been using lots of these pages you know as images in this book so oops I've just got one of my large images there so let's just move that out of the way so I want to yeah I'm going to tear out this page which has obviously got lots of the pink flowers that we have used throughout the journal so just for a bit of you know continuity I mean We've been being quite eclectic and using quite a lot of different things, but let's try and kind of do something a bit sort of cohesive here. So, right, okay. I have to just remember which was the front and which is the back of this. So I've just got some book page here. So I think what I might do is just put a bit of book page down. I might even tear that down so I don't have it quite so straight oops oh I didn't realize I had two there I thought it was thick feeling but yeah wasn't quite quite aware as to just how thick that was oh, perhaps we'll have it like that so then that's plain which is pretty boring isn't it oh it probably doesn't matter because to be honest I'm probably going to paint paint over this anyway so yeah let's just get this down because we just want to do some really crazy layering really um or well not necessarily crazy layering, but you know, some crazy bits. 
So obviously then, you know, the name of this, or the name, the nature, the nature of this journal has been just, you know, anything goes, gathering anything and everything from around the desk. So, you know, we want to continue with that on the front cover, don't we? So let's get this glued down. Just take my glue spreader. Spread that like that. Okay, now I've just got this clock face. So I'm thinking, tear that round. Like that, okay. I'm just wondering whether we might be able to have that somewhere. Now there's also this, this side's also got a clock face. So I'm just going to try and avoid the bird. Tear this down. So again, you know, just more stuff that was laying around on the desk. Well, this was actually under my desk, but yeah. Because I'm just thinking, you know, maybe these things might look quite nice on the cover. Let's just have another sip of my tea. Okay. Right, now, what else have we been using? I'm just trying to kind of, like, think. Oh, I mean, that's quite nice, isn't it? You know, because, I mean, we don't have to go with what we've gone with inside, necessarily. Um... You know, so long as we have a few bits similar, I think that's, you know, that's good enough, to be honest. So I'm thinking, right, let's just glue a couple of these down. Just really going for it, to be honest. I don't want to be sat here overthinking it. So I'm just thinking, you know, let's really just go for it and just get things glued onto the page. So, ooh, I mean, this is a very tough challenge for me, as you know, not overthinking, because... I do overthink quite a lot of the um, things that we do, but yeah, if I can just, you know, just glue things down randomly, then it's, you know, it's quite helpful. Oh, just wondering whether I might be able to put it like that. I know it's not the same, the same clock, but I don't think that will matter too much once it's actually, you know, got some paint and got some other bits on there. I don't think we'll necessarily even notice that, to be honest. Okay. So, you know, I'm not trying to match the, or yeah, match the clock up, but just kind of fill in some more bits into the, into the background. So like that. So this, again, just another piece of random paper that's just been loitering about on my desk. So I'm thinking, let's have this somewhere. I might just tear down, tear down these straight edges. I just don't like straight edges. I mean, I have got one here, which actually must have not noticed and yeah kind of wish I'd torn that down now I don't know what it is about me with straight edges I you know I've said this so many times before I love other people's straight edges it's something to do with me with straight edges I don't think I can pull them off it's yeah it's weird just not something I can really pull off is straight edges right let's glue that down Okay. Okie dokie, looking good. Right, now wondering what to do next. So let me have a bit of tea for some brain power. Well, uh, let's hope, let's hope it gives me some brain power. Uh, we've got some of this stuff, which we have used quite a bit in here. So we could definitely have some of this. Do like a cut tear thing with that okay this is really weird it's got like these blobs which are like snow but I'm not sure that I like them so much because they're a bit preventative if that's the right word from being able to obviously glue things down you know smoothly and flat because of course they're you know they're lumpy and bumpy aren't they so yeah kind of not sure not sure whether I like them. I mean, they'd be fantastic for a Christmas journal or something like that. But just for, you know, your normal old journals. I'm not sure whether I'm so keen. Anyway, I've pulled a lot of them off now. So, oops. Right. Just wondering whether we could have that there. Okay, so let's have a look now and see. Oops. see what we've got here from the book page that we could use now hmm. 
it's tricky because this is obviously massive so let's just have a look and decide do we want to just cut out a small portion which I'm thinking might be best. Cut out or tear out is the question. I'm going to actually cut it out, which is weird because I haven't really cut anything out for this whole journal. I've torn everything, but let's try cutting this. So let's just cut that out. Now I'm kiss cutting this, which for anyone who doesn't know, in, you know, my understanding is Kiss cutting is when you leave a little bit of a border around the actual item you're cutting. So that ivory kind of border. I'm not great at kiss cutting um, because my borders then are all different sizes. So I actually prefer probably fussy cutting because, you know, the, the normal close, close cut fussy cutting. Because I actually am better at doing that, I think, than kiss cutting. But I thought the kiss cutting would look really pretty on this. So, yeah. I'd go for it but I'm not the best at doing that you know it's quite hard to actually um, try and get similar size borders all the way around every piece really very difficult I think so we just have to go with as best we can Oh, I love how that looks. That's really, really pretty, isn't it? Yeah, really pretty. Now, what do we want as our kind of central piece, as it were? Um, I'm just having a quick look around my desk to see whether I've got anything ideal. I have got some of my um, fairy tale sales. Uh, is it sales? Fairy tale sayings. Not sales, sayings. Um, yeah, let's try this. And they lived happily ever after. I wonder if I could actually have two. I could have once upon a time and then they lived happily ever after. So let's just have a look. Right, let me just take out the once upon a time. I mean, who thought, sorry, I've now torn that straight through the middle of the word. Who doesn't want to live like a fairy tale after all? Hmm. Okay, right, once upon a time, and then we've got, and they lived happily ever after. So I quite like that. Okay, so that's quite nice. Now, what are we thinking for the here where I've got all these kind of odds and ends now meeting meeting in the middle <clears throat> I wonder if we could just do something like that okay right I know this seems very strange but I'm hoping that you know once this is all glued down and painted and you know what have you it's going to look actually very pretty but could be completely wrong now should have really pulled some fabric in because my original you know journal that we were taking inspiration from it actually had quite a bit of fabric um on the front cover so i might have to delve over and get some fabric in a minute um well i might not actually because yeah i've got a few things that i can pull in here just trying to be lazy and not have to leave my desk really so right I'm going to do a bit of painting now over the book pages which will hopefully you know blend them in a little bit to one another so like that okay so although it has just got those straight edges hopefully it's kind of like not quite so not quite so bad now okay so not too much, but just a bit of the blending in. Right, then we've got this snowy, snowy stuff. So 
So, yep, let's just take that. Right, I can put that there. Oops, just getting rid of some of these really big lumps that might make it very lumpy. Okay, so I'm putting that there. And then they lived happily ever after there. So I might just put a bit of paint around the edge of this. Oh, I'm going to do this with my finger. Okay. Okay. Right. Yeah, like that. So I'm just going to do the same here with the once upon a time. So just going around the edge. I mean, to be honest, it's, you know, it's not really showing up that much, but hopefully it's just kind of making the edge a little bit more robust and, you know, it will just give it a little bit of, um, you know, like dimension. What, dimension? I don't know if dimension is the right word, but anyway, it's going to do something, something to it. Who knows what? Right, so we've got that. Now, I've also been using quite a bit of this yellow ribbon. So thankfully this is still here with me. So we can definitely, definitely have some of this here. Honestly, I mean, this is just evolving kind of as we, you know, as we go. Right, I've also got some of this, um, you know, pom-pom trim from this old pot of mine. So I'm just going to tear some of that down. Oops. Oh well, I've torn the whole the whole length now, which of course is tons. We don't need anywhere near that amount, but let's just tear a little bit of this fabric. <clears throat> okay. Right, let's get rid of that. So yeah, because we've used this fabric, you know, elsewhere in this journal, so just take that top of it. Hmm. It's not really as frayed and sort of shabby chic looking as I'd hoped, but hmm. and I have got a couple of flowers here and things, so we could use some flowers as well. So pop that like that. And that would go on there. I'm thinking the pom-pom trim. Oh my goodness, how pretty does that look? And then if we were having the once upon a time and the flowers somewhere. So something kind of like that, I'm thinking, would look quite pretty. Now I've also got this um, thingamabob, you know, the washi tape stuff that we had been using in one or two places now I just wonder whether we could have any of that somewhere maybe just poking out here and you know I'm going to paint over this so again this is going to be just touches of pink showing through not necessarily you know in its kind of form that it's in if you see what I mean so let's move all this stuff oh come on Right, so pop some glue down here. Okay. Pop that down there. And should we have a little bit more of that somewhere else as well? Might as well, might we? Oops. Honestly, I mean, this is a very eclectic, you know, eclectic cover. I'm not really kind of having any plan or anything else. Just, you know, just going with the flow. Oh, I hope it's going to look nice. Okay. There. Oh my goodness, I mean, look at that. That's not even straight. But again, never mind. We are just, just going with the flow here. Do you get the feeling I'm just trying to convince myself of that? Well, maybe that's what's going on here. Right, let's get rid of this tape before I'm before I'm trying to just have any more of that anywhere. Now, should we have a postage stamp maybe? Box 
some pink ones here. Hold on. I'm thinking, you know, because we've got some touches of pink now. Maybe we could have like a little postage stamp. You know, don't forget, I am going to be painting over this. So, I mean, this is just, you know, like I've said a billion times, just sort of mere touches. It's not, you know, it's not here to actually look like a pink stamp necessarily. I'm not saying it's not going to, but I'm not saying it's going to either. I mean, to be honest, I have no idea myself how it's actually going to look. So it's going to be a surprise for all of us. <laughs> the amount of times that I get lovely people saying to me, Oh, you know, um, I really had my doubts when you were doing that. Well, hey, I really have my doubts as well. So, um, yeah, I'm frequently, frequently with you guys thinking, oh, my goodness, what am I doing? Oh, so, yeah. Oh, I'm so sorry. That's my phone. Hold on. Oh, I'm so sorry about that. Honestly, as soon as you start doing a video, that's it. You're going to be, you know, inundated with, with phone calls. Right, okay, so I'm thinking put the fabric down. Now, do I want to paint over the fabric or do we want to paint under? I'm kind of thinking maybe over it, you know. So let's just put that fabric down. So, I mean, you know, this is what I say. That book page now is actually covered up completely anyway. So, you know, when I was kind of wondering, oh, shall I put that down or not? It's not even going to be visible anyway. It's, you know, it's covered up. So, you know, it wasn't really even worth worth worrying about but you know because I didn't really have a plan I didn't know for sure that it was going to be covered up I mean I had my suspicions but yeah nothing nothing was sure right so I'm thinking like this really loving that happily ever after looks really nice and I've got my flower kind of like that now again I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do my painting now so let's just get some paint around on here like that okay bit of paint all around on that fabric hey sweetheart and then a bit here my son's obviously just got in from work i assume he's come in for his lunch Sometimes, you know, if he's working, you know, locally, then he can come in and grab his lunch. But, yeah, he's obviously gone straight off, straight off upstairs. So, uh, yeah, don't think he even heard me. Hey, gorgeous. Hi. Yeah, that's him. All right. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay, so that looks really nice, doesn't it? And then, um, like that. Now... Going to have this over here like that, just that little bit and that there. Now I am wondering whether I want to actually distress ink this um, to make it stand out a little bit more. I've also got a pink flower, which I'm thinking perhaps we could have the pink flower on the corner. What do we think to that? Don't want to actually cover up the word so she can't read it anymore, but. Maybe like that. Just about kind of squishes in there. You okay then, darling? Yeah. Right, okay. I think he maybe has come in for some tools, actually, because I just heard him kind of picking up some tools. So, yeah. Right. Love how that flower looks, I must say. Very, very pretty. Um, okay anything else that we want to have here so we could possibly have like a ticket or something poking out hmm. let's just pop this down I'm actually now thinking perhaps I need to um, you know cut out another one of those flowers so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to ink this up. We've painted around the edge and now I'm just going to ink it up so as it kind of stands out a little bit more. Oops. Okay. Oops, like that. Oh, it's so hot today. Honestly, it's just boiling. I've got the window open, but yeah, I can still feel really, really, hot outside so 
Oh, I love how that looks. That's really, really pretty. So what I'm going to do, I think, is just glue this down with the hot glue. So let's just take this and glue this flower down. Like that, okay. Are you having a nice day, sweetie? Yeah. Did you just come in to get some of your tools? No, well, I've got to go back at tea. I've um, got some errands to run, so ah. I thought I might as well use the time. He's come in to run some errands. Okay, so I'm thinking pop that there. And then, yeah, let's cut out another one of those flowers because, um, oh, look, there aren't any more of those flowers. I thought there was an identical one at the bottom. What a wally. Uh, right, kind of mm, wishing that I hadn't done that now. Oh, well. Right, let's take this section here. Okay, let's do a bit of that kiss cutting here now. There we go. Isn't it hot today? Mm, yeah. Honestly, it's absolutely boiling. I mean, I went to the gym this morning and I think, oh, I was going to say it was 27. It can't have been 27, but yeah, well, I guess it could have been by the time I came back. I don't know. No, that just sounds ridiculously hot, doesn't it? Yeah, I don't know if it could have been anywhere near as hot as that. But having said that, it was 28 yesterday. But that was kind of in the middle of the day, not early in the morning. So, yeah. I don't know where I got 27 from, to be honest. But, yeah, probably kind of thinking of a different time completely. But it's definitely very, very hot. Very hot. Okay, right. So I'm thinking maybe put this here. Oh, that's very pretty. Yeah. Love how that looks. Right, so I'm going to put this down now, again, with the hot glue. Like that. Now, what I'll do is probably go over that flower. Over the flower, under the flower, and hot glue that down in the centre. Because although I've stapled it on, it's just one staple. So, you know, it could do with a bit of extra help there. So, like that. Okay. Okay, like that. Yeah, that looks nice. Now, where's my, where's my once upon a time here? This is a very different cover for me. This is very um, eclectic, very, yeah, very different. But I am really liking it, to be honest. I think it looks pretty. So, like that. Now, just wondering, because I did say about that yellow ribbon, didn't I? I have been loving doing kind of ruffles and things, so I'm thinking we could just ruffle up a little bit of ribbon, maybe just going across even like that. So I think what I'll do is pop this down, actually maybe more, maybe more like that, covering over that ticket slightly. So let's take this. Now I'm just hot gluing this because of course it's, you know, it's gluing over the fabric. I just want to be nice and quick, making sure it's, you know, glued down. Like that. Okay, then we've got our once upon a time that we're going to have here. Now I'm just wondering whether I could have another flower there. Uh, right, let me just pull in my, my little bag. Oh, I have actually got some ruffle. Hmm. Hmm. I haven't used any ruffle, have I, in the um, journal, but yeah, I'm kind of thinking, oh, perhaps I. Perhaps I should have a bit of ruffle somewhere. Oh, I don't know. Maybe down, maybe down the edge. Well, I was going to have this, wasn't I? So um, yeah, let's stick with stick with the original plan. So I'm going to have this pom pom trim. Oh my goodness, I love how that looks. That's very ruggedy, isn't it? Very ruggedy, very shabby chic. You know, very um, very scruffy. I mean, that's the type of thing that my mum would see and be just like, oh my goodness, why have you just put junk on there? You know. But she would miss the point that this, you know, that's the point of this one. Is it's quite a junky, junky kind of journal. But yeah, she would be like, why have you done that? 
that just looks awful. But I really like it. I think it looks really pretty on there. So, like that. Okay, let's snip that off here. Oh, love that. That's so pretty. It's obviously, I mean, that's even got some of the old top still on it, but I actually think that adds to it. You know, rather than looking really awful, I think it actually adds to it and looks, you know, really lovely like that. So, yeah, right, let's have a look. I was going to look for some flowers, wasn't I? Okay, so we've got this one. Oh, that's pretty. Okay, let's see what else we've got in here. I've got a few few flowers that I could use. Uh, have a bit more of a look. Got this. Oh. Okay, that one. And these. So I'm just, uh, yeah, I'm just pulling those out to kind of have a look and see whether, you know, any of those might look good. Uh, it might be that none of them do, but we might as well try, mightn't we? Oh, I've also got some wax seals. I've kind of forgotten about wax seals whilst I was doing this journal, to be honest. Mm. I've also got this, this lace. I mean, I'm just picking out anything that I think, oh, you know, that's maybe a good colour. Oh, that's very red, doesn't it? Yeah, no, not that. Not that. <laughs> so, yeah, that clearly not a good colour. Right, okay. Well, smothered, smothered in flowers now. Right, let's have a look. So, just take this one out. I mean, this cover's now looking nothing like the one that we have been inspired by. And I will show you at the end, you know, for comparison. And you will probably see exactly what I mean. <laughs> but, you know, how can I say I've drawn inspiration from that? Because it's looking nothing like it. But that's the thing with inspiration, isn't it? You know, inspiration can take you actually in a completely different direction. But... It doesn't mean that you weren't originally inspired by it, if, if that makes sense. So, right, let's glue this flower down. Okay. Like that. Let's glue this down. I love this cover so much honestly it's so not my type of thing you know kind of yeah I can't really think that I've ever done a cover quite like this before but I really am loving how it's looking you know what I should have done was I should have put some bits on the back shouldn't I I totally forgot about the back so let's just literally put a couple of bit pages on oops I just, yeah, I hadn't really thought about it. And I suddenly thought, well, I'd best do it now because otherwise what's going to happen, this is going to be so bulky. It's not going to lay fat enough for me to even do anything on the back. So let's just quickly put this down on the back here. Like that, okay. Just spread that with my glue spreader. I'm sorry if you can hear all that. That's the dustman today. It's bin day. Okay, right. Oh my goodness, it's so hot in here. Yeah, thank goodness I've got the window open. My gosh, it would be absolutely sweltering otherwise. Mm -hmm. Put that one down. I just wondered whether we could have something like this just on the back just to kind of tie the back and the front of the book together so you know maybe just that down there again just going to hot glue this on I really like using the hot glue you know when things are a bit thicker paper because um 
you know, I feel like that's a little bit more resistant to wet glue. If it's in thick paper, you know, you have to kind of then press it a little bit longer. So this is just a, you know, quick, quick way to get it to glue down. So I might just have just this little bit of fabric. Just, oh, probably just that's not really right at all. Let me just cut another bit. Hold on. Okay. I just wondered whether we could just finish it off with a bit of fabric up there, more down there, maybe across there. And then I'm going to just put some paint like all over this back cover. So let's get this stuck down there like that. Okay. And then just go, because, you know, we only did one coat. So, I mean, obviously a lot of that cardboard's still showing through. And I did say I don't mind. I don't mind. But, yeah, I think it's better if we can have a bit, you know, a bit showing and a bit covered up, really. So let's do something like that. Okay. Yeah, quite liking that. Okay. Right, okay, so I just literally, like I say, wanted to make sure that there was something going on on that back cover because I didn't want to kind of have a scenario where it was then too late. It would be, you know, tricky to do. Right, I'm just having a quick look through my uh, lace drawers to see really whether I've got any elasticated waist, waist? Elasticated lace that I could use as a closure because we used um, an elastic trim for, or I used an elastic trim for the other one. So because we, you know, we're being loosely inspired by that, although like I say, nothing actually is looking like it's tall, <laughs> but I'm thinking that would be quite nice, you know, to have a little closure like that. So, right, back to the front. I've just got this tiny, tiny flower here. I don't think it's really needed there, but maybe maybe something like that. So yeah, let's just pop that one down there. Okay. I don't even know if I'm going to put centres in these flowers, you know. I think they actually look quite sweet without the centres. The only one I'm not sure about is that one. Um I don't mind it, but yeah, does it need does it need a centre, do we think? I've got hot glue threads everywhere. Literally everywhere. A bit of lace up here. Hmm. Let me just cut this down. I don't know why the hot glue threads are so terrible today, but yeah, they're like everywhere. Everywhere I look, they're dropping off me. Maybe just a little bit of lace there. Okay, let's just pop that there. And I've even rumpled that up so it's a bit crinkly, didn't want it kind of too flat. So it's just got a bit of a sort of textured appearance, which I think looks really pretty. And then we've just got this little section, which we might be able to just maybe, maybe ruffle up here. So let's just put a little bit, a little bit of glue up there and then just pop this down. And again, just doing the same. So just kind of, you know, almost like screwing it up really, but just so it's not flat, but it's got a bit of a bit of a ruffle going on like that. That looks just really pretty, doesn't it? Now, still pulling this yellow, yellow ribbon in, thinking, do we want this anywhere? I don't actually know if we do. Now, do we want to have, okay, this is some white elasticated lace. Do we want to use this as a closure because the original journal that we've used for inspiration had a kind of elastic closure like this so it would be like that or do we want to have ribbon tied at the edge oh do you know i think the elastic yeah i think the elastic so let's take this now all i'm going to do is glue this down here like that like that and then the other half oops 
just check that I haven't got it twisted anywhere because yeah that would never surprise me the other half just like that I'm not trying to pull it too tight but you do want it slightly taut you know not kind of bagging around so like that okay so that looks quite pretty doesn't it and then what you could do you know if you didn't like the appearance of just that lace where it's kind of overlapped at the back you could even put like a flower or something over there I mean I don't really mind it but you know if that bothers you then you could probably disguise it with something maybe even you know I don't know maybe a bit of lace like that or something or maybe a little flower portion from the paper so let's just have a look at this probably done the completely wrong flower now really because this is not really the right shape but yeah I should have gone for the one that was that shape but let's just try this anyway I mean the other bonus of sticking something on top of it is obviously you're then strengthening it to stay glued down so you know although I don't mind how it looks there is something to be said for kind of a bit of extra strength you know weighing that down or glue gluing that down okay I'm not sure that is the right one to be honest let me just go for that one in the corner because I think that would be a lot better okay oh yeah that's much better isn't it so yeah I'm just going to take that and glue that down with the hot glue straight over where that join is so that's glued over the join and over obviously the original bit that I actually glued down. So like that. Okay, and then we've just got this flower that, you know, we could could put somewhere. Maybe there if we want to, or I don't think we need it on the front. So yeah, perhaps we'll put it down here somewhere. Oh no, now my glue sticks run out very frustrating <clears throat> just put some paint over I'm so sorry about that my phone suddenly stopped recording so all I actually did um you know before I spotted it had stopped recording was glued this flower on on the back and then I just touched up some little paint um across that flower and across this one just for the continuity so it kind of ties in with the rest of the journal so yeah so that is it I think I don't think I want to have anything else on that cover I think it looks really 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 pretty as it is um obviously it does not resemble it does not resemble my original one at all that we were inspired by just going to pull that in just to show you the difference but I mean obviously some of this is due to different materials now some of it's due to you know just your style evolves and things over the time but this is the one that inspired us to do this and I mean, yeah, it's not kind of too dissimilar. Obviously, just, yeah, just utilising different materials and different kind of things that I've got to hand now, really. Um, so, yeah, I really hope that you like it. I will come back. We'll do a complete flip through. And, yeah, I really hope that you've enjoyed the process and seeing it come together. And hopefully I will see you guys tomorrow. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys tomorrow. Thanks then. Bye. <coughs>